wonder if what you're eating is healthy. Sometimes we think we're eating healthy when we're really not. I'm with dietitian Renee Coles from the Prince Albert Parkland Health Region to help dispel some common myths. And today we're going to talk about butter versus margarine. So Renee, what is better, butter or margarine? Hi Lisa. Well, I do recommend margarine and the reason being is that margarine is made from vegetable oil and it contains no saturated fat or cholesterol. And um, where butter is made from animal products and therefore contains the saturated fat and cholesterol. And so the important thing with margarine, sorry, is making the right choice. And so what you really wanna do is look at the nutrition facts on a product and I'll just grab one here quick. And what you really want to zoom in on, in on are the calories, um, the type of fat, is there any trans fat, unsaturated fat, and, um, and the type of vitamins and minerals that are added. So what are some benefits of butter? I know a lot of people talk about, well, our bodies have been metabolizing butter forever. Right. So butter has, um, there's a lot of different types of butter on the market. So they actually have no, or if you're following a low salt diet, there's low salt or no salt added to um, products on the market. Also, butter has fat soluble vitamins in it. Vitamin A is one of them. Now the thing with butter, and like I said before, is it comes from animal products. So it, it contains saturated fat and cholesterol. Now putting cholesterol aside, what we really want to talk about is that saturated fat. And saturated fat has been shown to cause an increase in bad cholesterol and therefore is a risk for heart disease. And so it's really important, Canada Food Guide does talk about limiting the, t the amount of saturated fats you have in your diet. So that comes from butter, um, shortening and lard. Now, what's better about margarine? I know you just came out and said, you know, there's some benefits to eating margarine. So margarine, the one good thing is the type of fat that's in margarine. Margarine is, comes from vegetable oil, and so it contains monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. And those types of fats help um, increase your good cholesterol and therefore lower your risk of heart disease. So the one thing though with margarine, not all margarines are made the same and not all margarines are healthy. So some margarine, they have taken the, the vegetable oil and they've tried to solidify it so it's in a harder brick or in a stick. And when they've done that, they've done what's called partial hydrogenation. And they've added hydrogen to the oil and that therefore causes trans fats. And trans fats have been actually proven to be worse or just as bad as saturated fats. So you really want to pick a product and look at that nutrition label and make sure it has no trans fats. So a quick tip is, is you actually want to soft tub margarine versus a hard brick or hard stick. So what are the calories in each? So what's really important when you're looking at a spread is to remember that in a teaspoon of margarine and a teaspoon of butter, they're still about the same amount of calories. So it's about 70 to 100 um, calories in one tablespoon of each. Now, um, what you really have to remember that is that in one tablespoon of butter, there's saturated fat and in the margarine, it's the unsaturated fat. So it's a lot healthier, but there's still a real concentrated source of um, calories. So it's really important to use them in moderation and use lightly. So if people don't want to use either, what are some alternatives? So some um, alternatives are obviously cooking spray made out of olive oil. Um, another alternative is making your own cooking spray at home is filling olive oil into uh, a pump and you can pump it and do it on your own. The other thing would be to, um, when you're baking, is to substitute the, the hard fat that they call for in the recipe with um, vegetable oil. So such as you can take a, a, a third a cup of hard fat and substitute it for a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Or in say muffins where it cause, calls for margarine or butter is to substitute half of that amount with pureed vegetables or fruit for a low fat option. The other thing would be to use herbs and spices and lemon juice for your vegetables instead of using the um, fats at all. Excellent. That's all great information. Thank you so much for talking with us. You're welcome. Thanks so much, Lisa. That's Renee Coles from the grocery aisle.